Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 14. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to round to the nearest hundred on the vertical number line. We are learning this so that we can find out the size and weight of objects in real life. We will know that we are successful when we can round three digit numbers to the nearest hundred. Do you know what rounding is? When you round, you use the multiple of 10 or 100 that is nearest to the number. You want to look at the number to the right side. Is it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4? Round down. Is it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Round up. This number is 180. We want to look at the 8. The 1 is in the hundreds place. We round down to 100 or up to 200. Well, the number to the right of 1 is 8, so we round up. Answer. Round up to 200 because the 8 is closer to 10. Okay, let's look at this on a vertical number line. Vertical means up and down. 180 is closer to 100 than it is to 100. How many hundreds are in 132? 100. What is one more hundred? Two hundred. Is one hundred thirty-two closer to one hundred or to two hundred? Let's look at the number to the right side of the one. The number in the tens place is a three. We can estimate to find where 132 would be on a vertical number line. Notice that the endpoints are 100 and 200. And find the plot point that is just above 130. That would be 132. Is 132 more than halfway or less than halfway to 200? Remember that halfway is right here at 150. I know that because of the number 5. Answer. 132 is less than halfway to 200. So we can round that to 100. Can you round 175 to the nearest 100? The 1 is in the hundreds place. The 7 is in the tens place. Answer. Round up to 200. Let's estimate to find where 175 would be on a vertical number line. Notice that the endpoints are 100 and 200. Is 175 more than halfway to 200 or less than halfway?
Remember that half weight is right here at 150. Answer. 175 is more than halfway to 200, so we can round it up to 200. Okay, it's time for our read, draw, write question. We're going to read it and find the most important information, draw a picture, and in this case, we're working with vertical number lines. And then we'll answer the question as a complete sentence. Mr. Williams has 380 screws. How many screws does he have to, does he have rounded to the nearest hundred? Draw a vertical number line to find a solution. Let's go to our Google Jamboard. It looks like this. Google Jamboards can be found at jamboard.google.com and it sort of looks like a virtual whiteboard. So we're going to do the next part of the redraw write process, which is to draw a vertical number line. So the question is in regard to the number 380. The number in the hundreds place is 3, so I know that my first endpoint is 300, and the next hundred up from 300 is 400. So my next endpoint is 400. I know that 380 is between 300 and 400. So taking my pen tool, I'm going to draw a vertical number line. And vertical just means up and down. And my endpoints are going to be 300 and 400. My halfway point is going to be 350. And my question to myself is 380 more than halfway between 300 and 400. I'm going to say yes, it is, because 380 would be right here, 380. So 380 is more than halfway between 300 and 400. And my question is, how many screws does he have rounded to the nearest 100? Since 380 is closer to 400, I'm going to round up to 400. I've completed my drawing. Now it's time to answer the question in a complete sentence. Looking back at my question now. The question is, how many screws does he have rounded to the nearest hundred? Mr. Williams has about 400 screws. I know this because 380 is more than halfway between 300 and 400. I can round 380 up to 400, period. There's my answer. Let's go back and check our answer. Answer, he has about 400 screws. We did it, yes. Now it's time for you to do a redraw right question on your own. Let's look. Miss Lamar 
drives 430 miles on her bus route, how many miles does she drive rounded to the nearest hundred? Go ahead and get out your pencil and paper or your dry erase board or even a Google Jamboard if you have access to that. You're going to draw a vertical number line and write out your answer. And when you're done, look in the description box below to check your work. Do your very best and I'll see you in the next lesson.